Hey guys, it's Katie and this is My Life with Buds. Uh, first off, I want to acknowledge that it's been a very long time since my last video. I think it's been like a month and a half or something. Uh, so I want to apologize for that. Didn't mean to dip out and not say anything. Um, a few things contributed to it. So I guess I'll go right into that. Um, I had surgery in the middle of May to remove my tubes and that was super exciting. I'm very glad to have that behind me. I never wanted kids and finally got somebody to take them out. So I don't have tubes anymore. I can't have kids. Very excited about that um, personal personal decision there. Uh, the surgery was pretty exciting. <laughs> um, I'll have to do a blog post about that because that was wild. Um, definitely some people freaking out, but it went well and no complications. The surgeon did say a couple things that I found super interesting. She said that the, I think it's the pleura, it's like the wall on your abdomen. Uh, she said that that was super fragile, like she was able to just slide the instrument right into my abdomen without putting barely any pressure. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's like, that's wild. And she said that she did look in, at my intestines when she was in there and they looked different. And I was like, all right, so that's pretty. It's pretty interesting to have someone who's seen your insides be like, "Yo, your shit's wonky," <laughs> you know. Like it just, it's funny. It was funny to me, um, but I'm glad everything went fine. So I healed well. Around the same time, I want to say it was plus or minus a week from that, uh, we lost a couple people to vets, and that's when I really like actively took a week off from from doing a video a couple weeks and didn't intend for it to be this long. Um, it was really hard to talk about and I did a music video for my other channel but I never talked about it on this one. It, I just can't. So that one hit me pretty hard. And what else? In the midst of all this I was also planning a move. So I moved. I successfully have moved and started my new job and everything. Uh, finding new doctors has been quite the adventure. It's a full-time job trying to find new doctors and I tried to do as much of it as I could before I got here. Um, so I had appointments with people set up and everything but you can never be a hundred percent successful so I've met an internist, a general surgeon, and a vascular surgeon and a cardiologist. I also have an appointment with another vascular surgeon in a couple weeks here and follow-up appointments with the cardiologist. Um, getting doctor's appointments set up is a full-time thing. It can't. It's not just like, hey, I want to come in and have an appointment. It's before you know it, you're on the phone with this person and then you're on the phone with this person and then you're back on the phone with person number one because you need to sign a HIPAA release form can't just get your records easily somewhere and even though I had this really cool database where all my records are stored they wouldn't accept it in that format and I'm like why do I even have this what is the point of any of this like they wanted to put me through a whole nother CT scan just because I didn't have the the record of it right there in front of me like the scan folder I'm like no like, I can pull it up and show you the images right now. And they're like, well, we can't accept them in that format. And I know it's not their fault either. But it was just, it just adds a layer of stress to something that doesn't need to be that stressful. Like, obviously, if you have to have a CT of your brain again and again, that's stressful enough. You don't need to go through all of this other stuff. You don't need it. Anyway, that was that, and I had another event this week, actually two days ago on Wednesday, on July 4th. I was out with my friends on a boat, and I went swimming for a minute, got back into the boat, and then I felt like my heart was racing really fast, and as I noticed that my heart was racing really fast, my left leg and my right arm went dead, and when I say dead, it's like... Like, you, maybe you slept on it, and you can't feel it, you know? 
Um, and I could move it, but not with any sort of control from my perception. It was like flop. You know, like, I'm going to move my arm over here, so it's just going to flop this way. I'm going to move back. You know, just like spaghetti, spaghetti lens for my left leg and my right arm. And then part of my abdomen was also numb. I remember laying in the boat just being like, oh, I can't feel that. You know, I'm like poking it. I can't feel it. Everything's kind of dizzy and it's all spots and stuff. And not like spots like you're passing out or like tunnel vision. It was just like, but I don't know what I'm doing. To cause this, you know, I'm on a higher salt diet, I'm wearing compression socks, being careful in the mornings, and previously it's only happened in the mornings, this was the first time it happened with people around, which is a whole new experience for me, that was wild by itself, like just, everything's wild right now, um, but no, it was a whole new experience having people around me, where I was like, okay, there's other people here, like there are people here to support me was interesting and good um yeah so had a cardiology appointment today actually to follow up with that had a ct last night and i'm going to be having a heart monitor for a couple weeks the cardiologist wants to rule out afib and some other things so i'm going to be wearing a heart monitor he said if it doesn't work out with that monitor then they'll probably install one in my like you know in my chest like a little implant cyber Katie um, oh I do have great news like all of that stuff was kind of like mixed news but this is great news so before I left Washington I was able to meet somebody else with beds and she's absolutely amazing and hysterical and I love her to death her name's Annie and we became friends before I left got to hang out a few times and everything, and she's just so funny, <laughs> but I did a podcast interview with her in person, so she's going to be my podcast episode this month, uh, the last weekend, last Sunday of July, that episode will be released, and you can hear her story, in the meantime, I still have uh, Deborah and Soren's story up, and Bridget's, and Shannon's, and they're all amazing people, and they have amazing stories. So take a listen to those if you haven't yet. The podcast is called Staying Connected. And I had a lot. So this is a long video. I'm sorry for that. The compassionate allowance list was updated, and the update does not include beds. That was kind of crappy news, but it makes sense because, I guess it makes sense because everybody is different. And you want to evaluate it by a case-by-case basis, and I can see where they're coming from, even though it sucks. It's crappy news, but... Uh, that came out a couple weeks ago. And then finally, the Beds Collaborative is meeting later this month, which is super exciting. Um, that I told you about is a group of researchers and stakeholders for beds, like patients and fundraising people, um, getting together and determining where research should go for beds. So based on what patients want and everything. So you should have seen a couple surveys come out by now. From that, if you're following me on Twitter or if you're following me on Facebook or anything like that, I usually, I usually share that stuff. And if you didn't take the survey or you have additional comments or questions for the collaborative for the meeting later this month, go ahead and put it in a YouTube comment or send me a contact me on my on my blog, the translucent one dot blog. Put it in there, and I will make sure to ask the questions. So. I think that's it. That's a lot of information for you guys. It's been a month and a half, so we've got Katie moved, Katie had surgery, Katie met Annie. Um, the compassion allowance list was updated, and the Beds Collaborative is meeting this, this month. So thanks for listening, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.